will have that information very quickly. The problem is they will have completely lost the B site. Uh, this could be a little bit of an issue. You can see Fnatic have overran the site and they're getting a plant down easily, but they've at least managed to deal with Magnum off the bat. So that's one player taken down, a little bit of security out of the game for Fnatic. As they now look to hold on to control up in heaven, there's three players tucked up oh there. God. They have the potential to play off some of this breach utility when the stun comes back up, but Firoth oh. is in a lot of trouble. And with him going down, the wall has disappeared. They're going to fight for the other side, and that's where they run right into a patient Sugar Zero with a great lurk out here and two kills. That should be the round in the bag. Yeah, and good luck to Mystic, that is all I'll say. He does manage to get himself one with the Molotov, but I don't think it's really going to matter with the amount of time on the clock now. Something we really wanted to talk about going into this map is sort of, well, at least in my eyes, I didn't even expect Fnatic. Oh, that boom bot has just gone right past them. They had no idea that they were waiting outside. Mystic going to be taken down after just the one. We've got to deal with Crow on the way through. A couple of whiff shots. It got dangerous. Oh, oh my oh, God. God. What? All right, Hiver. That's one way to head to the server with a couple of headshots right off the bat. And he's looking for a little bit more. Doesn't quite manage to finish off Sugar Zero. And now they're starting to question if maybe the spike's starting to go back in the other direction. It's yet to make it to the site, but Fnatic are taking their time. And they've got the perfect players left alive for this. And look, Ferret's left. already put his wall down on B early round, so that's not going to be in play for them. But Snakebite's still online. Breach utility for Boaster and the ability to get this spike planted. They flip this round into their favor now. The only downside being just how low Ferret is. It's got to be a big round from Boaster on the site. If he goes down, this round is basically done. See that utility coming online now. The stun as he moves in towards main. He's just crossed oh, over. What a shot! <laughs> Down to the one versus two. And Sugar Zero, the man with the flank in the previous round, the lurk that got them a bunch of kills. Nice snake bite down, but he's going to get it halfway at least. Look at the HP though 45 left. Pushed out by the utility now. They know he's not defusing. They'll wait for him to go over and tap it. You'd think, no, Boaster's in the open, and he's <laughs> taking the kill. That is the round for Fnatic. And look, Tom, you know, 2-1 might not ultimate as well. Is that about to go down? Are they preemptively putting it through? This is, could be a very interesting execute. Instead, they're looking to put the pressure onto Depp. He's left completely isolated. The rest of the team have, however, completely rotated in towards A. So this is basically a stack up for Zeta. They've got a good opportunity and already two quick kills coming back through. In fact, make it a third. It's left all on to Mystic. You were talking about holding the ult. Well, I don't even know where you'd use it at this point to try and get back in. If he even had one smoke, right, he could get out there, take the spike, and maybe things could go his way. But they are holding him, and it's not just rifles. It's that tour de force in the hands of Laz. That's really where you're afraid coming into this one. And with 15 seconds left, there's no choice but to go forward. Now or never. There you go. That goes exactly as expected. Zeta pick up the Thunder and Showstopper if they were to have that uh, opening duel. Whoa. They've got it with a nade. Sugar Zero's gone down. Rightful to be retrieved. Mystic really wants it. He's running forward to the site. The snake bite will slow them for a moment, but they keep on getting kills. Yeah, Magnum just got one with a classic as well. This is already such a peculiar round. It's the non-weapons that are actually doing most of the work. And because Hyper got one with the nade, it's actually given him the showstopper as well. Now Viros that comes through. And I, I don't know. Like it's, It seems like Zeta are doing the hard work and then losing the rounds that should be a lot simpler to Weird spots. Yeah, so far this game hasn't gone exactly how you'd expect it. Maybe Zeta can get out with a clutch though and put us back on track. Unlikely. Depp already Still on the side. Still a classic. <laughs> this fight from Magnum, it, it, he can't really do anything. He's waiting for the aggression of his teammates. A good trade, but Depp still standing. They've already put something onto the spike and Hiver while he is. Yep, they're out of there. Yeah, and they should have the, the warning system as well, telling them there's someone coming in from behind. With the clearance of depth, sure, they have to be a little bit careful, but at this point, there should be somebody watching that flank and knowing that they're coming in from behind. There's going to be Firoth already, a multitude of members in that direction. He's got to be careful. Doesn't want to get caught out by the nade. Just uses utility to hold the back. The oh. What's just happened from Sugar Zero? Yeah, you know, we, we complimented this guy on his lurks. Maybe he should shoot people from behind. That wasn't uh, that wasn't too fun of a fight to watch, but somehow they've come back into it again. It's just, just a ludicrous game so far. The showstopper puts them into a decent spot. Rolling Thunder answered back, though. That's a good old burned up by Fnatic already. Still Zeta the can be pretty happy with Magnum going down. They're looking for the side posters up top. He's got one, but now he's in trouble. Took behind the box. He'll swing out, and Crow will find him. A fourth round goes to Zeta. 
And Tom, yeah, it's uh, it's not got any easier to understand. Thrifty. What? What? How how did they they spotted the Take the rifles. Maybe you want to blitz on through, but they're deciding against that, and I guess you still want to keep two powerful ultimates as well, right? The Viper's Pit and the Showstopper. They've already invested a lot into the last rounds with the Orbital Strike, and then the... <gasps> no! He's got one, and I thought, I thought there was so much more coming. At least he's been dealt with after just the one. An ambitious play, to say the least. No. No. Just, I'm, I'm sorry, but Ten cannot lose this battle to just Jiggle Peaks coming out from Vera. Again, they, they know exactly where this play is coming in. The rotation's already gone through, but Magnum has found another jewel. Now, they, they can't quite get the spike onto the site. They're waiting for the screen to come back up so they can plant a little bit of a ballsy position that the spam is actually going to push him away. Now, there's only 25 seconds left, and they're going to have to wait again if they want to put the screen back up. And they have to. There's no way that they can just wide face out into these angles. They know exactly what they're up against in terms of weaponry. I think they're going to pop a little bit of utility here, get themselves oh, out. No. no, that's the shot through the wall. Boaster Mystic One fear up. They all go down, and Magnum's got to clutch it. No time and no health left. Nice shot out of Laz. Great control by him on the up when Zeta have had the advantage, you know, up against pistols. They've thrown it away. So it's definitely been sloppy. The ball's been dropped on both sides. This guy, though, he hasn't dropped the ball no. at all this tournament. He just keeps delivering. And there's another opening duel for him with great map control held afterwards. Look at how scared Fnatic are to even go for that repeat. Yeah, the, the fact is the choice should be at this point just go the other way. Like, it's not worth facing off against. And they've got the information in the other direction. The flash just doesn't blind him at all. Now Hyper's going to try and at least trade it out. But he dissipates before he could actually land the showstopper. Ultimate completely wasted. And now Ten's even wrapped around from behind, just leaving two players remaining for Fnatic. They are being slaughtered by one man and his all. Well, at least they've got the site control, but even the plant might be difficult to secure. The nade comes through, but it's a shot from Sugar Zero, and it comes in at the final hour, just barely denying that defuse. Mystic, 35 seconds, 1v5, spike down in the open, yeah. Going away from that side is definitely the right call. This weapon will just be saved to the next round. And after the pause, Tom, it doesn't look like Fnatic have come anywhere near a solution to this Zeta defense. No, and the frustrating thing as well, especially off the initial peak from Feroth, it's like you're, you're almost going into that angle hoping that he's not there. And I, I feel yeah. like there needs to be more of a game plan, especially when it comes to an A main push. Ten like seconds left. There's a very, very high chance he is there in the majority of rounds. It's one of the best places to take that initial duel. We've also seen that, sure, they've switched up the setup, but I feel like the majority of the time you're going to have that spot. So, and they even clear out the remaining weapons. Zeta, whatever, whatever, we move on. I swear, I, I think Depp might have spent like 7K. I think yeah. Depp might have dropped him. I'm not sure, either way. Fnatic are on the way, they're blitzing into B. Look at this. And how, how is he allowed to do that? And Sugar Zero takes advantage of the chaos for a double. Fnatic are falling apart at the seams here. Zeta completely tearing them to shreds. And it's it's the same play. It's the same guy again and again, just given so much space. Well, yeah, the fact is the whole play there was that he was going to dive through the smoke, catch one, and, well, disappear. But he didn't need to disappear. There was nobody ready for that sort of push not expecting him to just disrespect the utility. And again, we find ourselves in the same spot where Fnatic have 45 seconds. They have the spike, but planting it is impossible. Zeta are just not moving. They're just going to sit back and basically allow them to try and go for that plant, and then they'll go for the retake, knowing exactly where the remaining players are, even trying to deny them. Now, I like the cage. It almost fakes that there's someone planting within it, and they've at least managed to get themselves the after plant, Mitch. But with no utility left, and no ultimates, One this is going to be uh, well, impossible. Yeah, uh, look, it's come back to it again and again. We're in these positions for Fnatic where they're getting to the site. They're doing the hard work, but it's then falling apart afterwards. And I do think, you know, the very fact that Laz is able to have all this space. That yeah. Sugar Zero, great reactions, hiding up above, waiting for them to come through. You know the funny thing? It most definitely does. Now, they've got themselves covered over towards the B side with the trap wire and the same for uh, the back side if anybody pushes up through dish rolling thunder. The only ult that's in play for <laughs> Fnatic is used and a blind shot from 10, but Hyber with the same nade up into heaven catches the same player. Shoker Zero really not having a good time when it comes to that utility. 
Now Fnatic are at least able to get to the site. Moving through heaven, the position they cleared, there's a weapon on the floor for them, and they'll be going in for the plant momentarily. But, you know, it's on the, this is really where the problems have been. Planting on this site, even with the wall up, has been near yeah. impossible. Yeah, because they've just been patiently waiting for somebody to actually go for the plant. Look, they're planting safe. Yeah. I don't blame them at all. Like, like them trying to get these open plants haven't worked out, and this time they have themselves the Viper's Pit as well. So it's going to force the close quarters battles for Zeta. So in this moment, I look at fear of <laughs> He's just dancing. He's got his orb still up, and you're kind of going to need that if you do play any sort of a post plant, if you try to lead the site and use your snake bites against them. But, oh, this is nasty. Waiting this long for Magnum, they shouldn't be expecting it. The pistol was watching it, but Laz eventually goes up the rope, and that's when Magnum strikes. Good repositioning from Boaster, really being the bodyguard there for fear of spotting them as they move on through. With this Viper Spit still up, it's so easy to close out. Nine to three, a third round for Fnatic. And look, with the success rates of entries in B Heaven, I'm very, very worried for this team. But they've had a little time, a couple of minutes. And as a percentage, that's not bad. They've only been together a couple days. So, you know, 10% better coming in. We'll see. It'll have to be a whole lot more than that, though. Only three rounds on the board, 35 seconds it left. And it's time for Zeta to make a move. They're coming into the B side, and they have found it completely open. 30 seconds left. Yeah, a few players holding onto the cross, but I think they're just going to have to try and face this one in the retake. Yeah. Plenty of time to get the spike down and planting open towards tree as well. It, it, if they can just all fall back, it's going to be really difficult for Fnatic to try and clear because everybody else is coming through the spawn. I mean, this aggressive wall out of oh Zeta gets so much control, but they're pushing past it. They're pushing through it. Depth. He manages to hold on to control. That is fantastic. Up goes the orb. He's on his way back. No, he's not. He's on his way forward. Depp will not be stopping. He's tucked himself up on the box, and this position is going to be hard to clear out. They have stunned him up at least, and now they've gunned him up too. Zeta still with the man advantage. Headhunter in play. Laz not able to connect the shot. Well, not pulling them out, but Boaster's dropped, and this is starting to look like it's done and dusted. Magnum really against the clock on this one. Halfway defused already with a pre-fire from Sugar Zero on point. Double digits found for Zeta. It looks like I still will favor this heavily to Zeta. I don't think that's that bold a prediction with them 10-5 up and going into the attack. I think that's a pretty safe guess. That is not a great fight for Laz, though. Uncharacteristic whiff, and it's Hyper picking up the kill. Now they look towards the site 10, dropping down the nade to at least seize the control. And it looks like Zeta might be able to land this plant. Pushed out by a little bit of utility, but that Cosmic Divide surely secures it. Yeah, so I, I think also the Aftershock just went into the, the default box, so it hasn't done too much. More Hyper oh. just goes straight through, but it doesn't connect! The Curse of the Showstopper, and now leads it back into a 3v3. Two players remaining for either side as Boaster just holds, maybe expecting a little bit of aggression. Instead, just waiting to see if Depp actually comes through the other side. This patience could play out for him, but he's actually gone back Careful into there. the other smoke. But now that fades as well. It's left all onto one man. Sugar Zero with the timing will get himself back. And now it's on to him versus Boaster. Shut up and let me work. Oh, the time's already too low. Sugar Zero played that perfectly, even though he goes down in the end. I don't think there's anywhere near no, enough time. No. Boaster won't even get out of there alive by the looks of things. That's the round found for Zeta. 11. Actually selling the information that they haven't gone dish. Because now Fnatic are like, oh, wait, they didn't destroy the trap war. Ha ha, they didn't see it. Oh, those silly boys. We've got it for free. They have free. actually rotated. And so they've gone. And it's going to be the A side now, open. They, I will Zeta, say, you're smart. They do have themselves a rolling thunder. So they might have just given it up for that exact reason. But mm -hmm. even still, Zeta have gone through expecting there to be at least somebody here. And well, they haven't managed to actually clear out the Viper Spear. In fact, the Fnatic players push deeper just to avoid that ultimate. Welcome but now they've got to fight back into the world. side, right? And you've got a Viper's Pit on the other side coming up. That was a really close step to the Viper's Pit. That could have been dangerous. Look at Ted! Oh, God, he goes down! Fira just about catching him. This gives a lifeline to Fnatic to fight their way back in, but look who's behind. Laz with a quick kill, and he's gonna stick around. He's got that tour de force, looking to take them down. Sugar Zero popping off on the site. This is Zeta's round. Three kills, and a judge to close it out. 12-6. I mean, Zeta are just dominating this map. There, there's no other way to put it. Fnatic, they, they haven't shown up right here. No, no, I, I think that's fair to say. It, Consecutive rounds, doubling up on their score, it's tough. And this time they gamble in towards a north side crunch. They walk up there, they see that there's no players around. 
A main's being spotted. That nade is so good, it's gonna stop a lot of them from getting out. In fact, it's gonna take Magnum down. Rolling Thunder answered back on the other side. Oh, the utility oh, doesn't almost. take Laz down. Three HP as he steps away, and Zeta are resetting. They're not looking to fully commit back into this. They don't need to. Now, knowing that Fnatic have retaken the control, with 50 seconds left, they can slow this down, take their time, and look at Fnatic's yeah. instant reaction. They're panicking. Four, they're seeing four, these players have left A main that they've seen the A site retaken, so they're running over to B, trying to get ahead of Zeta. And they might have. I mean, I'm seeing players walk uh. back and forward. I think Zeta are still deciding, but now the decision's being made, left. and it is the A site that they're moving towards. Yeah, uh, Bosa has to go huge. Like, he's got himself a rifle. He's managed to find a little cubby that he could play from. He almost lines up a couple. The second not quite going to be there and stunned up. It leaves just the remaining three. They've wrapped around. They've at least got a little bit of map control. But the problem is the site is where the plant is happening. And they've spotted where that utility is coming from. Nice shot from Viron. Mystic gets two. And again, it's just the pistols for Fnatic. It leaves one man, Laz. Wrapping back around. He's got three HP and still needs to clear out the three remaining players of Fnatic. They are spotting this bot, but he manages the first and almost, almost there. But Firoth will keep Fnatic in it for now. That was scary. I mean, the fact that we end up in it. One player left alive with third. The problem is ult economy build up, and once Zeta oh, really get those stacked, they've got five yeah. rounds to build ults, so they can just explode into it. Oh, going with the That's kind of scary. Story. The hope, you know? The hope, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Showstopper, there's a Showstopper for Fnatic Tom. Tom, that could be good, the Showstopper. Yay! Lots of hope for this one. No showstopper. Oh, no, no, no they fear just got, they just got no double mistake. judge. Oh, it's no done, booster. it's done. Magnum needs to try and clutch a one versus five. The aggression from Fnatic has completely Ooh. failed. And well, talk about miracles. Last round we saw a north side crunch. No one was there. This time we saw a north side crunch. Everyone was there. And uh, no matter what, Zeta coming out ahead in those early fights. That's map done. I mean, yeah, this is got normally where you'd see your teammates leaving the game. I, I don't think anybody <laughs> believes in this clutch. Look how slow Unfortunately, as well, he's on the wrong side. Yeah, they are taking this very seriously. Regimented on the Zeta side. They've been like this throughout the entirety of the map, though. They don't want to give this man a hope in hell of bringing this back. And while, yeah, a 1v5 on the site. They're going to have to try and reset and bring this into the next one. We are heading to Icebox. There is absolutely nothing that Magnum can do. Even a kill or two here would be inconsequential. He had win. to ace it, had to defuse. 13 to 7.